Is PvP coming back to Wildlands enough to revive this game? Or ultimately, yeah. is it too little too late? Mr. McSpicy, what are your thoughts? I mean, it's always... I, we have we have a lot of examples of too little too late. Sure. Um, I think I think anything you do to a game later on rejuvenates it somewhat. I don't think it's whether a, it gives it stain power is probably the question. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's probably it's probably too little too late, and, and that's unfortunate. But I really do think that it will bring some people back for a little bit. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, what does it have to do to bring you back permanently? Uh, I don't know. Make, make a better bad guy. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I I think that game has, I see I'm, I'm different. I think I'm different than a lot of gamers. When I finish a game, I turn it off and I never go back to it. Sure. For the most part, it's just unless it's a huge update. Unless it's something. Destiny yeah. 1.5 <laughs> yeah. or Destiny Taken King or any of those that come. Yeah, out, right? well, yeah, yeah, like it's, those kind of iterations. And those, the, but to see, those are expansions. Yeah, and I hardly actually even expansions. I rarely go back to a game. It's got to be worth it. Yeah, and so right. this to me, I don't. It's not enough for me, but you know, Jordan, how about for how about for you? Do you think it's enough to bring? attention back to the game or is it too little too late i i i i think so i mean i i like the game yeah yeah it's like do you think pvp will be good this is i think wait i think it's just it'll give players another thing to do right so i mean if you own the game and it's a free update and you know it's like oh okay well now i can do pvp i think this is where the thing with pvp is pvp kind of never ends right the story eventually ends and the campaign that's end games right yeah Yeah. yeah pvp because of the nature of you know player versus player it's always different you know, people can get do the grind and just but you know it, it never. I mean, look at Call of Duty; it it never it ends. never dies. Yeah. yeah, I really think though that needs to come out at launch for it to have, or at least yeah. a week later. Sure, yeah, around launch. Well, I think to this have is staying power. I think this is part of the problem with a Ghost Recon or with U- Ubisoft, not as a whole, but with these three games in particular. Is you've got Ghost Recon. You've got Division, and you've got Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six does PvP very, very well. <laughs> Strategy. I feel like Rainbow Six is more like a Ghost Recon than Ghost Recon Wildlands is. And Rainbow yeah, Six does that, what it yeah. does, and it's at the top of its game. Division does what it does, and it's PvP mm-hmm. and PvE modes very, very well as well. And then you've got Ghost Recon. So I feel like Ghost Recon kind of lacks a little bit of identity. So I don't think, I don't, I just don't know if it's enough. And I think Ubisoft having those three games and the way that they did this Ghost Recon, it, it's not enough to separate it in my mind because you've got these other two options that just do it better. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah uh, well, I mean, but hey, think like, about, think like about it says what, it's going to be um, a, a 4v4, 4v4 tactical ghost mode right see and i, I like rainbow that. six does that better though yeah you're not going to beat rainbow six at that game nor is ubisoft going to allow it to overshadow rainbow six i mean rainbow six well, is... I mean, look at look at the division though I mean, we stopped playing it for a while and then the survival mode came out and we, that's true but you know what i mean so i mean it, it has the potential to do it if it's but fun I mean, you know? how the survival mode came out when it was still hyped of a game right uh, yeah well yeah, yeah i mean ghost recon i don't think it ever had the hype that Division, Division had, had obviously, yeah. um, but my I would po- my say the hype was pretty big for Ghost Recon. Yeah, I would well, say I it know. was pretty big for that, and then that's why everyone got so disappointed. <laughs> yeah, maybe. The hype well, was... I ju- I just think Ghost Recon is kind of stuck in no man's land because you got other two uh, two other games that, that are, are s- better that are similar in in certain aspects of it and better at those aspects. Mm. You know what I mean? Rainbow yeah. Six is at the top of its game in tactical. PvP multiplayer, yeah. multiplayer and and the division. division is is a top notch game for PVE and PvP style third third person shooters. So where Ghost Recon, I just feel like kind of lacks that identity. Has an identity crisis. It has an identity on? crisis. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a twelve year old teenage person with an identity. Crisis. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and we hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button below and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to check out more of our awesome videos. We are your number one source for all things positive gaming. Check out our website at x1bros.com. You can see the link in the show notes below. And remember, if you're not having fun gaming, you're not doing it right. We'll see you guys next time.